It is popularly believed that personality disorders affect only a tiny fraction of the population. This is completely inaccurate. According to PDAN.org, Personality Disorder Awareness Network, 9.1% or about 1 in 10 people suffer from one or more personality disorder. The reason this is so surprising is because the average American is bad at diagnosing personality disorders in ourselves and the people we see. Movies and TV shows hide characters with personality disorders in plain sight, and very rarely does the audience see it. Examples of this are even prevalent in children's shows, such as when Eeyore is unable to see positive qualities in himself, when he feels like he is worthless and dwells on negative events and experiences. Just as I thought, no better from this side. Or when Squidward feels like nothing can make him happy and has stopped to enjoy his life. And even when Elsa thinks she has no control over her feelings, and even worse, she feels like no one can understand her. But perhaps the most serious case we see is in Disney's 2002 classic, Lilo and Stitch. I am not an expert in the field, but in my best understanding, I believe that Lilo has borderline personality disorder. And the best way I can prove this is by seeing what symptoms she matches. In the article, Borderline Personality Disorder, by MayoClinic.org, the symptoms of the disorder are broken down. Let's see if Lilo matches some of these. The movie starts with Stitch escaping an alien prison and running to Earth, so we don't see Lilo until 10 minutes into the movie, where she's getting out of the ocean and running to her dance class. She gets her first line two minutes later, when the teacher asks her, Lilo, why are you all wet? It's sandwich day. Every Thursday, I take Pudge the Fish a peanut butter sandwich. Pudge is a fish? And today, we are out of peanut butter. So I asked my sister what to give him, and she said a tuna sandwich. I can't give Pudge tuna. Do you know what tuna is? Fish? It's fish! If I gave Pudge tuna, I'd be an abomination. I'm late because I had to go to the store and get peanut butter, because all we have is... Lilo, Lilo, why is this so important? Pudge controls the weather. This is something the article talks about. People with borderline personality disorder go through paranoia and loss of contact with reality. Not even a few seconds after Lilo finishes her story, Myrtle tells her, You're crazy. Which causes Lilo to react with, <laughs> This scene shows that Lilo can experience inappropriate anger which causes her to get into physical fights. Dance practice is cut short, and the girls try to leave Lilo, who catches up to them and asks, Are you gonna play dolls? You don't have a doll. This is exactly what the article talks about, when it says inappropriate anger and mood swings may push others away. Lilo walks home alone, where Nani finds her locked in the house. Lilo, we don't have time for this. Leave me alone to go. This six-year-old girl just said, leave me alone to die, and another check for the symptoms of BPD, this time in the form of suicidal threats, in result of her friends leaving her. This is further proven when you learn that Lilo in Hawaiian means give up. On another note, the song playing throughout all of this Some room. is Heartbreak Hotel by Elvis Presley, which is a chorus of I get so lonely, baby. Well, I'm so lonely. I get so lonely, I could die. That along with this picture on the fridge. We can conclude that Lilo has a fear of abandonment and difficulty of being alone. A social worker talks to Lilo, and we are given this scene. My friends need to be punished. After reading the article on BPD, I understood that this was Lilo showing change in self-identity and seeing herself as a bad person. The social worker leaves and Nani immediately gets furious. <laughs> the article says that hereditary predisposition is a big risk factor, so it would make sense that Lilo's sister has a similar disorder. Nani catches Lilo and they start to argue, which makes Lilo say that her sister would be better off if she had a rabbit and not Lilo. So why do you sell me and buy a rabbit instead? At least a rabbit will behave better than you! Go ahead, then you'll be happy because it will be smarter than me too! And quieter! I don't like it! 
this translates to someone on BPD wishing they didn't exist. Some time passes and the sisters make up. Lilo is happy. Yeah, would that be good? <laughs> this doesn't last long because in the next scene, Lilo wants to make a wish on a falling star. She shows strong irritability. Can't you go any faster? Oh no, gravity is increasing on me. No, it's not. This is the perfect example of mood swings, specifically happiness and irritability. Lilo adopts Stitch, and after spending the day with him, she tells him this. This is you. This is your badness level. They go home, and Lilo's opinion on Stitch changes. Hey, what is the matter with you? Be careful of the little angel! This shows us that Lilo switches between idolizing Stitch and thinking that he is cruel. Another example of Lilo losing her temper. That's a name! It's free air. <gasps> Would you cut it out? We can conclude this happens frequently. The next night, Stitch finds a photo of Leo's parents and she explains. That's us before. It was rainy and they went for a drive. What happened to yours? I hear you cry at night. Do you dream about them? A risk factor in BPD is people who lose their parents when they were young or have unstable family relationships. Lilo says she remembers everyone that leaves, further showing how her relationships have been unstable. I remember everyone that leaves. The next morning, she tells Nadi. Stitch left. Really? It's good he's gone. He didn't want to be here anyway. She denies that she cares because she wants to avoid separation and rejection that she feels. The last example from the movie is when aliens accidentally capture Lilo instead of Stitch, and she says, Don't leave me, okay? Okay. It's weird to me that she didn't say help me, save me, or even come get me, when she was the one being taken away. She said don't leave me, further proving her fear of abandonment. Throughout the movie, we see Lilo as a child, and borderline personality disorder begins in childhood. So let's review. Borderline personality disorder is a mental health disorder that impacts the way you think and feel about yourself and others, causing problems functioning in everyday life. It includes a pattern of unstable, intense relationships, distorted self-image, extreme emotions, and impulsiveness. But don't get discouraged, Lilo. Many people with borderline personality disorder get better over time. Borderline personality disorder affects how you feel about yourself and others and what your behavior is. The only thing we didn't apply is self-injury, which would have been way too dark for a Disney movie, and risk behavior, which is all things Hilo is too young to do. However, we do see a feeling of emptiness inside her throughout the movie. In conclusion, I hope that you can agree with me in saying that Lilo suffers from BPD.